Reporting remains a challenge for our customers. Many of our customers still rely on legacy technology to generate seemingly simple operational reports for their business. Others rely on copying and pasting data from dashboards into PowerPoints, Excel, and Outlook, resulting in a challenging situation that touches multiple systems. To put it simply, when end users envision reports, what they want seems relatively simple. But the reality is that building, customizing, and sharing that final report is much more challenging than what you might expect. And this is often due to two core problems that report builders face. Good reports require various elements, such as commentary, charts, tables, and data extracts. Combining various elements manually means limited automation and tedious manual effort. Magic Report solves that challenge by combining the flexibility of an advanced editor with the power of automated analysis and the intelligence of AI. To start a new Magic Report, we'll select the Reports tab at the top. We have two options to get started. We can start with a blank report and build from scratch or we can use playbooks to generate a report either with our own data or with synthetic data by entering a prop that's relevant to our use case. For now, I'm gonna show you how to create a report from scratch and we'll call this one cost status report. Remember earlier when I said that good reports require various elements? With the items menu open, we can see all the insights and charts available to display dynamic insights similar to what we're already used to seeing in missions. We can choose from a variety of text and layout elements to organize our report appropriately. And we can even use AI to help create executive summaries and rephrase text throughout the report. Elements can be added to the report by selecting them from the items menu, or by pressing the forward slash button on your keyboard to open the command menu, search for the element you want, and then using the arrow keys and tab to add the elements to your canvas. Now that we've added some commentary to the report, let's add some insights, charts, and tables. Tables can be created manually or created from a data set. Let's start with a manual table, but we'll populate it with dynamic figures. When insights and charts are added to the report, a configuration window to the right will appear, allowing you to change the query, the block type, and the analytics type. For the table, we'll add figures showing the total cost, budget, and variance for each of the manually entered periods in our table. To save time, we can also copy and paste the figures with keyboard shortcuts and modify the queries for each as needed. Additional formatting can also be applied to manual tables, such as making the headers bold and adding colors to the cells to indicate good or bad values. Moving on, we'll add some insights and charts describing the monthly transaction costs. Starting with an insight card, we can see that the cost increased from the previous month and the top drivers for that change are listed, just like we see in missions. Also like missions, we can quickly drill down into the insight card and explore more about the change. We can also drill down in the report itself by copying and pasting the insight card and changing the filters and breakdowns just like we would in search. Let's do that now and we'll change the block type to chart, add a filter by rent since we know that's the top driver for the increase, and add a breakdown by cost status. We can now see that overdue transactions are the leading driver for the increase in rent costs. We can continue adding more granularity by adding another table using our data set to show the overdue transactions in April. When we add tables using a data set, you can choose how many rows you want to see, which columns you want to see, override column names, and format the measures with decimal places, abbreviations, and divisors. With our charts added, we can now add any additional commentary that's necessary to help explain the insights. 
And if we don't like how we worded our commentary, we can always highlight the text and ask the AI assistant to rephrase the text for us. Finally, after all our charts, insights, and author notes have been added, we can use AI to generate an executive summary. Our report is now complete and we're ready to share with our stakeholders. But before we do that, I want to direct your attention to the latest updates available with the GA release. First, you can now collaborate seamlessly by sharing edit rights with multiple team members. Second, in addition to giving your colleagues editor rights to the report, you and your team can now edit the reports together in real time, making teamwork smoother than ever. The third update is saving your work in progress. You and your team can confidently make edits to your report and Auto Insights will automatically save your work without anyone with viewer roles being able to see them. You can pick up right where you left off next time and only when you're ready for your edits to be applied, you can republish, making all your changes visible to everyone who has access to view the report. Finally, editors can create a schedule to send the report to stakeholders on a regular basis. Let's return to Auto Insights so we can publish and share our report. Before we can share the report with our colleagues for collaboration, we need to publish the first version. Once published, we can select Share on the left-hand side of the screen and choose who we want to share editor and viewer rights with. If the users we're sharing the report with don't have access to the underlying data sets being used in the report, we can easily request access for them, automatically sending a notification to the data set owner to grant them access. By selecting the Schedule button, we can create a subscription for our stakeholders to receive the report in their inbox on a set frequency, such as on the 5th of every month at 8 a.m. Finally, to make changes to the report, we can enter edit mode again. Because we've shared this report with our colleagues with editor rights, I can quickly see if anyone else is actively editing the report with me, and I can see their changes in real time. We can close edit mode for now and our changes will stay private. Or if we're ready, we can republish and all changes made by all editors will be applied.